let's see. Uh, my friend Mike uh, has her here, and uh, he asked me to, uh, he said, are you going to tell him jokes? And I said, uh, well, you know, I could just arrest my chops on that, you know. So I'll do a little quick joke here, like a music joke. It's a jazz joke. So I go in here and say, the jazz, right? So there's this, uh, <coughs> this uh, bass player who's going to, the, going to a gig. And the gig is at this ballroom right next to a river. And the bass player drives up in the parking lot of the ballroom that they're going to play, and he's unloading his bass to go into the gig. And a mugger come, appears from the shadows and grabs the bass player and forcibly ties him to his bass and puts the bass in the river and lets it float down the river with the bass player tied to it. Meanwhile, the drummer just drove up into the parking lot. He's driving into, uh, and he's unloading to go to the gig. And uh, the mugger sneaks up behind the drummer and forcibly ties him to his bass drum. Puts the bass drum in the river, lets it float down the river. Meanwhile, the bass player is tied to his bass floating down the river, and he looks over and he sees the drummer, you know, in the river floating down on his bass drum. And he yells over at him, he says, do you know if they're going to feed the band or not? <laughs> okay, back to the seriousness of things. Anyway, uh, one more jazz joke, or... Uh, did you ever, did everyone here, have you heard of Gene Krupa? No? Well, Gene Krupa went out, this is an old story. Uh, Gene Krupa went out to his mailbox one morning and there was a letter there that was addressed to the greatest drummer in the world. And Gene looked at it and he said, you know, I'm one of the best drummers in the world, but I'm not the greatest drummer in the world. But he knew Louis Belson's address because they were friends. So he forwarded it to Louis Belson. And Louis comes out to his mailbox one morning, and there's the letter. It says, to the greatest drummer in the world. And uh, Louis looks at it, and he says, oh, you know, I'm the top, one of the top drummers in the world, but I'm not the greatest drummer in the world. But he knew Buddy Rich's address, because they were friends. So he put it, he forwarded it to Buddy Rich. But Buddy Rich comes out to his mailbox one morning, and... Uh, there's the letter, it says, to the greatest drummer in the world. And Buddy goes, that's me. <laughs> so he opens the letter and says, dear Ringo. <laughs> <laughs>